Romans chapter 5, verse 12 explains that everyone who's been born of Adam and Eve has inherited that unrighteous status and condemnation from God. If you're here today and you've never trusted in Christ as your Savior or understood why, I want you to realize that you've inherited Adam's sin and its consequences. That's caused a sin nature in your body and a punishment eternally from God. God is a person of absolute integrity. He is not able to bless anyone that does not meet his righteous standard. If God were to bless an unrighteous person, he would compromise himself in his own perfect standards. He will never do that. That is why if you come before God to be judged without a righteous standing, he will have no choice but to condemn you forever. He doesn't have a choice. It's not that God wants to be mean, that God wants to be angry. It's that, God, that man's sin has violated God's righteousness, and he is not able to do anything but judge it. Jesus Christ took everything upon himself on the cross that would stand between a relationship with you and God. Everything that would keep you from being with God forever was poured out upon him and judged in your place. He then went to the grave and three days later defeated death itself. Neither sin, which we've all inherited from Adam, nor death can defeat those who put their trust in Christ. When you believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior, that He died for you to pay for your sins, that He was raised to life for you to give you everlasting life, you're actually given the righteousness of God. It's given to you. You can't earn it. You can't deserve it. You can't achieve it on your own. But it's actually given to you. And so that when you do come before God, guess what you're going to have? Righteousness. And therefore, He can bless you. And He will bless you. Okay? That's the great issue with salvation. So, I wanted to make that clear. If you've not made that decision to trust in Christ, you really should consider those issues.